Firebase Studio just launched, and it's Google's answer to Lovable and Bolt Not New, which if you didn't know, they're websites where you can basically describe your app idea as you would to like ChatGPT, and they're actually gonna build you an app. So this is what Bolt Not New looks like. This is what Lovable looks like. And this is what Firebase Studio looks like. And the only reason there's this thing on the right here is that I already tried making a project, but before you do that, it looks just like the other services. So the idea here is that because this is made by Google, it integrates directly with the Firebase databases, which means that in theory, at least, you can really easily add databases and authentication to the apps that you're making, which is something that you can also do with Lovable. But Lovable has a third party integration with a service that does the same thing as Firebase. Whereas with Google, it's all by the same company. So in theory, at least, it might work better. But I tried Firebase Studio and my first impressions are not great. I'm sure it's going to get better, but right now it's just not working as well as the other services in terms of actually building what I'm describing. I'm going to show you what I did and why I'm saying what I'm saying. So this is a small progressive web app that I made using other tools. I'm going to walk you through it. But basically the way it works is that if you click the plus on the green box, it adds green boxes. And if you click plus on the red one, it adds red boxes. And in the same fashion, you can remove boxes. This is supposed to be a simplified calorie tracker. So this iteration that you're looking at, I actually wrote the CSS myself, but the logic was written by Anthropic's Claude. And this is what that looked like. I sent Claude a screenshot of the design that I had made in Figma, and I described the logic. You can pause and read all of that if you want. And what it did is it gave me code for the different files that I need to actually have this program run on my computer. It's basically a website that works like an app. It can work offline because it's a progressive web app. And what makes it a progressive web app is these two things here, by the way. So when I downloaded those and run the code on my computer, the result looked like this, which is very, very close to the original design. Now, some details were missing, but I added that in later. The main point was that the logic was working exactly as I described it, which is what I showed you. Now, I also tried the same in Lovable. I sent it the same screenshot, actually a slightly different one with different button designs. And as you can see here as well, the logic works the way I described it. Now, before I had a design in Figma, I actually wanted to play around with the idea to see if this would even be something that I want to use. So this is without a screenshot, just describing to Claude the basic idea. And the prototype that it made, importantly, still works, like the logic works the way I described it. So to test Firebase Studio, I sent it a screenshot of the working app, and I sent it the exact same prompt that I used with Claude to build out the logic. And this is what Firebase Studio made. So it's not looking great, even though I sent it the screenshot. But more importantly, look what happens if I click the buttons here. <laughs> it adds squares, like extra squares, instead of replacing the white ones. So of course, I could keep tweaking this, sending messages here, and trying to improve it. But it's really not promising that it's not getting the thing right that all of the competitors got right. Not to mention the design, which even ChatGPT somehow got closer than Firebase Studio even though Lovable, as you can see, remains the king, like the most accurate one. So I'm going to keep playing around with it. I'm sure it's going to get much better really fast. But right now, it's not living up to my expectations or the competition. I was originally going to end the video there, but I thought, let's give it another chance. So I told it this doesn't look anything like the screenshot, and like the logic with adding squares doesn't work as it should. So this is the update that it did. And now you can see at least like the squares replace the placeholders. But if I remove squares, <laughs> they don't readjust. <laughs> This is just this is just str struggling with something that it shouldn't be struggling with, again, based on how the competition manages to, to do the same thing just right. And now I'm beginning to think maybe the screenshot that I sent it for some reason did not get uploaded, even though it looked like it got uploaded, but now I cannot see it. So I'm going to try to upload the screenshot again. I'm going to say, change the styling to match the screenshot exactly. And I'm using Whisperflow, by the way, for the dictation. It works really well. So let's see what it does now. It's updating the CSS. Looks promising. And this is the result. So um, I cannot even see the grid. What's going on? OK, uh, let's try that with a light version screenshot, because to Lovable and the others, I actually sent a light version design. Maybe this is what is tripping it up. I'm going to give it another chance. I'm switching to light mode. I'm taking another screenshot. And let's see how it handles it now. So it's tweaking the CSS again. And guys, somehow it's even worse now. What even is this supposed to be? But you know what? Maybe because the screenshot didn't get attached in the beginning, it got tripped up. I'm going to try the same prompt, which again is the same prompt that I used with Claude and Claude did everything just right. And I'm going to start a new chat, okay? And I'm going to tell it the same thing. Also, apparently I cannot simply just drag and drop the screenshot. I have to, to use this. And now screenshot is attached and I'm going to try again. 
And something that Firebase Studio does differently is it's asking me to confirm the plan. Like, is this what you want? And then if that is what I want, I say prototype. It doesn't look like it got the screenshot at all in this case as well. So let me try again. It's updating its game plan. And now I can see it added different colors here. So let's try. I'm starting to suspect that maybe at this stage, it does not take the screenshot into account at all and just extracts the colors or creates a text-based prompt for itself. I'm not sure. This is just a theory. We're going to see how it turns out. And I can see, by the way, it uses Tailwind, which is what Lovable uses as well. Just for reference, Claude didn't use any frameworks. It just created the CSS, which I changed in the end to make it match the way I want to work. But it was very usable, and it did not depend on any framework. OK, this is what we got. So again, nothing like the screenshot, but let's test the logic. Now the buttons are, for some reason, reversed. OK, but at least now this works. This is better than before, but yeah, not ideal. Let's try to ask it once again to change the styling to match my design. This is what we have now. It, uh, OK, these are correct now, but they no longer work. <laughs> and these are circles instead of squares. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to stick with lovable <laughs> or just Claude. You know, like lovable if I want an inline preview of the thing that I'm making, and Claude if I don't need that. Because this is a free version of Claude. It tried to make an artifact, but I ran out of uh, tokens right there. I don't think Firebase Studio is that usable right now for my use case. And for the use case, I think it is advertising. So take that as you will. I'm going to stay tuned. I'm sure they're going to improve it.